Squad. Hey squads. Back with another video, but I'm starting this one with an apology. See, we got things wrong. We got things badly wrong. A lot of it wasn't our fault. Some of it was, and it was a lesson learned. I'm talking about the Grumpy's epic classic car day that you can see on the screen. And the first shot opens with the Cinewhoop shaking away. The second shot is really, really smooth and one of the best of the day. Done with the fly with fly lens. Now the problem here is the third shot you can see quite a lot of vibration in due to really, really high winds. Unbeknownst to us, the flywheel was struggling. Was struggling really bad. But unbeknownst to us, the reason behind that was it was about to die. The Cinewhoop was providing us with footage that we thought was okay. But upon review, it was incredibly shaky. And when we checked the, the settings, for whatever reason, the settings were just not right and not conducive of producing cinematic footage. We know why, and we fixed it and we've resolved it but that doesn't fix what happened at the shoot and although we got some pretty decent shots it wasn't anywhere near the quality that we demand of ourselves and that's something that we sat down and we've reviewed long and hard since the shoot and we put things into place to ensure that this doesn't happen again we are new to shooting indoor scenes such as this so there was a little bit of an unknown quantity for us. Now, one of the biggest issues that we had is that we only had one micro tiny up at the time capable of delivering 4K. And although, thanks to Beta FPV and Barry Morgan, we've now got three, on the day, we only had one. So settings, changes, and hardware have been changed, fi changed fixed, and resolved for next time. The biggest issue that a couple of people have noticed is the nighttime shots were not done with the drone and the reason for this is we arrived at Grumpy's we set up we were ready to do a test run through everybody had been spoken to every single person in the building had been told that there would be a drone everybody became an involved person everybody was shown the drone everybody had seen the drone in the afternoon the majority of people was really excited and couldn't wait to see it fly and, and, and what we could do the band were aware we was going to film in between the band and then five minutes before showtime i plugged in the drone ready to do a quick practice so that everybody was aware, everybody could see what the drone looked like when it was flying, where it was going to fly roughly, and that I could find my lines. Disaster struck, because the second I put the drone in, a spark came from it, we had magic smoke, and that was the end of that. Panic struck, I reached out to Jedi FPV, who came down with a gimbal, and a phone on a gimbal, and I asked him to try and intimate as closely as possible what a... F FPV drone would all like flying through here and I think he did a pretty good job because not everybody has noticed and that that is testament to his work so thank you to Jedi FPV. This is quite a sombre video. I've taken this quite quite hard. Um, whenever I, I do anything for anybody else it, the, the quality and the presentation has to be out there and, and it just isn't and it, that's reflected in the view numbers so I want to say sorry I want to say sorry to Grumpy. I want to say sorry to everybody that turned up on the day and the night. And I want to say sorry to the band. Most importantly, I want to say sorry to you viewers because you expect better quality from this channel. And that didn't happen. And I feel the need or I felt the need to explain why. Ironically, had it been an outdoor shoot, similar to the mountain bike shoot that we've done, I've got 10 backup five inch drones, not a problem. But like I say, this was something that we've only just moved into. Um, the four day bank holiday really killed the postal service otherwise the beta fpv drone would have arrived it arrived on the tuesday so it should have arrived on probably the friday potentially even the thursday but hey ho these things happen we managed to finish the shoot and we managed to sit down and assess everything that's gone wrong and figure out a way of how we fix it so i want to apologize but i also want to say this is going to help us grow this is going to help us become even better we've got some really big shoots planned for this summer and i mean really really big i guess this is a blessing in disguise because this has helped us reorganize our workflow better understand and um, how to put contingencies in place so that we're not left in this situation again and also better recognize when we've got a problem I try to be the hero and fly around the problems in the afternoon when really what I should have done is say something just isn't quite right here let's just reevaluate 
And ultimately, you know, the, the, the footage has paid the price for it. However, we grow, we move, we learn. This is an apology. Put this date in your diary because from here on in, things are going to get wild. And I promise they're going to get a hell of a lot better. Peace. Quads.